What's up? <clears throat> it's your man, the real deal, to give up another video. This video is about the legacy of welfare, real deal in the pain. There's a movie in 1974 called Claudine, starring Diane Carroll, James Earl Jones. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, Tamu, and Roxy Rucker. Google this cast. You know, but this movie is very important. It gives a breakdown, you know, on the stringent conditions of welfare. And how you can compare that to the conditions of, you know, our community today with this overwhelming demographic of single mothers, you know, and fathers in the penitentiary, you know, or, you know, whatever. You know, I'm not here to go back and forth on whose fault is this and whose fault is that, but, you know, what we, what we, I want to talk about, my commentary is, you know, this movie I've seen three or four times, and it's about a single mother with children that she works in the suburbs cleaning white people's homes my mother did the same thing you know your grandmother you know or some of you your great grandmother you know I mean I don't know you know but the conditions of welfare was that you couldn't have a man in a home and you actually had social workers that would uh, make house calls to see if there was a man in the home and you know you the women actually had to report gifts I mean if somebody brought you a piece of jewelry you know something like that you know you know how we do man you know you, you know you feeling this woman or something like that you know you know you gonna you know you give us some gifts but you know you had to report it you know to you know the local county offices and then they take take deductions off the stamps you know, so a lot of women was hiding, you know, their husband. I mean, their husbands, you know, clothes and, you know, any uh, traces of a man in the house had to be hidden very, very well. You know, uh, the, uh, the conditions of the welfare was we'll take care of the black woman, but we're not taking care of the black man. We're not trying to keep the black family together. You know, we just taking care of the black woman. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as, you know, the years go on or whatever, man, the 70s come and then the 80s come. You know, and there's this report, the, the Morton Heimer report, uh, that this senator actually predicted. And in this report, you know, you have to Google it up. And he says that, you know, if we create this type of system, then there's going to be an explosion of single mothers in the black community and we're going to have a lot of problems. And that's what we have in the day. You know, you see a lot, over 70 percent, you know, the households in the melanated community, you know, is single mother, you know, household. Now, you know, we can point the fingers and talk about, you know, where black men is not doing this and black men is not doing that. You know, but I just figured like to, you know, to me, you know, my commentary is this, you know, I just think that, you know, a lot of you people up under 45, man, you know, is not really researching your history. Not all, not all, but a lot of you is not researching the history, you know, on how welfare was really, really established. When you look at how these young dudes is out here talking about, well, these women, they, you know, they. They, they got everything going on, you know, you, you, I hear it all the time, man, with a lot of young dudes, man, that's trying to do the right thing out here, man, you know, you go to a little seven and a quarter job, then, you know, you got this sucker-ass nigga, man, you know, he the manager, you know what I'm saying, and he got the whole staff, you know, especially in these fast food restaurants, these warehousing jobs, man, where it's all women, you know, 
and that's all he hiring. You know, you can come, your son or your, you know, especially your sons can come and try to apply for the job. He's not going to hire him. But then you send your daughter, you know what I'm saying? He going to hire her. You know, you, know I mean? you got these emasculated ass men, man. They just want to be around women. You know, I'm just not used to that shit, man. You know, and as I get older, I'm just like, man. But anyway, man, let's get back on topic because I'm in the paint. Look, you know, welfare, you know, has really just devastated the community, man. It really has. You know, but this movie in particular, Claudine, you know, check it out. It's one of them black exploitation movies, man, in the early 70s. And it gives a great depiction, you know, of the system of welfare and how it just dismantled the black family. You no, know, period. Period. Look at it like this. Why do you think there's so many men over 45 years old that's single? And a lot of us don't even have no children. Why is that? What? I can't get along with no woman. You know what I'm saying? You know, tell me. You know, leave it in the comment section. Why is it that men over 45 are still single? And why is it so many women that's over 45 that's single, but they thriving? But you got a lot of men, you know, that's the same demographic, the same age demographic, struggling. Is it our fault is, or is it the powers that be? Or was it orchestrated? You know, that's my question. You know, but as I said, you know, this movie, it just breaks it down. It breaks it down. You know, a single mother. You know, she's, and we talking about this 74. So this problem was starting to really take notice in the early 70s. You know, President Kennedy was assassinated in 63. So that's nine years or 11 years when this movie came out, you know, and it was addressing, you know, the system of welfare, you know, women with children and no husband. You know, now you look at it nowadays, it's just to the point, man, of no return almost. You did. It really is. We are in trouble. Hmm. And also, it's a cold soundtrack to it. Gladys Knight and the Pips. You know what I'm saying? You know that soundtrack. All the music that you hear is from Gladys Knight and the Pips. You know, that's an interesting time. The black exploitation movies. You know, I recommend a lot of you, man. And check some of the movies out, man. You know, a lot of them. You know, they in demand. <laughs> you know, just take a look back in the 70s, how we conducted ourselves with a cold. You dig? But anyway, let me get on out of here. You know, I'm late night. I'm in the paint. And I did this video two or three times, man. You know, trying to get it right. But I think this one is the one. But anyway, man, I'm the real deal out of the city of Gary, Indiana. GI, baby. Peace, y'all. Happy Friday.